No promises. <laughs> Um, three unique opponents. Um, really good tournament for all three of us, I think. When you get into these three game deals, I think it's pretty rare that all three teams probably are hoping to win all three games. A lot of times when you schedule these, you're thinking, you go down and win one, see what happens in the other one, and the other one's going to be tough, or vice versa. But you got two team, three teams from Power Fives that are all kind of picked toward the bottom of their leagues in Pitt, Wisconsin, and us. And then you've got a team hosting it that um, when they host these things know what they're doing. Uh, they're picking teams that they match up well against. And so you look forward to that. Um, three games in three days in the past for teams I've been a part of have always been a little bit of a concern because we didn't play very many kids. But this year we don't have that issue. So we've got a lot of kids available. So it's a unique situation for us to go into because of that. Um, and I think coming off of a game that we learned an awful lot about our team. I'm looking for further growth. How do you manage those minutes, uh, especially early on? Yeah, starts today. It, you don't wait till you get down there to do it. You start being very, very precise in what you're doing in preparation. Uh, we'll prepare for all three teams today because we have uh, our practice, some of our practice squad here that stays around on campus. So we'll prepare for all three of those teams a little bit today then get a little bit more specific to each of them as we go. So uh, not, not loading up their legs, uh, making sure they're uh, rested. And I'd rather them be a little bit less prepared and more rested than the other way around. So we'll start that today. And then you do manage minutes from day one when you show up in a tournament like that. If you can get a kid like Mal out 30 seconds before a media timeout and let her rest through the media and put her back in after that, that has an accumulating effect over the course of three days. Um, and then you make sure the kids balance uh, uh, having fun while they're there, but also recovering. So Natalie Trotter will be and Todd Barber will be two of the most important people on the trip. What do you feel like you learned uh, this past week? You know, a tough game on the road, and then you come back home and play a really, really good opponent on Sunday yep. and, and play pretty well. The good, some of the good you learned, and then some of the things you're going to have to work. So. Well, we've got a resilient group. That's always a quality you hope you check at some point in time during the year. But uh, to make that travel and then come back and uh, have a game like Arizona State looming, um, I, think, I think resiliency is a good thing that we checked. Um, I think, too, our kids have good perspective. You know, I, I watched Chelsea's and at Alexis's press conference, and those kids got a good perspective on it. Uh, they certainly expected and wanted to win, but they are smart enough and – basketball savvy enough to come in and, and reflect back and know that there was an awful lot of good that happened. Um, they were also driven to make sure we could make that one extra play. You know, they, they both referred to that and I think they're spot on. Uh, they did that right after the game. They didn't have to go back and watch film and think about it and hear us coaches come into a film room and, and feed those lines to them. They said it on their own. So we've got a maturing team. Um, I do think that we've got some, uh, you know, obviously we know rebounding is always going to be a, a thing. Uh, it magnifies when you go against a team that looked like Arizona State did. It, I mean, it looked like a rugby team to me when they came out. They're just so, so physical. And we know we're going to run into that. And we'll see a little bit of that with a Big Ten team in Wisconsin. And, and Pitt plays that way some too. So I think we learned uh, both sides of that, that question that we can fix, you know, the, the rebounding part and the toughness part. We're not going to be bigger. Uh, we're not ever going to be that much stronger in season, but we can try a little harder. Uh, the, you know, you guys are averaging, you know, 20 more points a yeah. game. I mean, how, how do you think this is going to play out scoring wise this week? Well, <clears throat> I think, you know, it'll, it'll come back to the numbers will come back as we get into SEC play. Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about this week? Yeah, it'll, it'll come down some. Possessions will get, um, you know, fewer. Uh, and then I also think scouting takes over as the year gets going. There's still a few people that have a hard time convincing their players that toll is going to shoot it from 30 feet. You can show them to them all in the film that you want, but until you get one in your face, it doesn't really sink in. Um, people will tell 
on film, hey, this Williams kid, she may only be six foot tall, but you know she, she bangs pretty good in there, and she runs the floor really hard. She's going to punish you in other ways that aren't physical. Um, you know, Jalen Mason's better than you think she is. That's, that's hard to sell uh, some of the people early in the year. So I think you can get, a, get away with a few more points. Those will start to go away uh, as scouting improves throughout the year. Um, but I still think it's the way to play to beat the best teams that we're going to have to play. Um, so we're going to work on it in every single game. We're not going to change a philosophy for set, to say, like, against Tennessee State. We're not all of a sudden going to change a philosophy just to win one game. We're trying to win the games at the end of the year. So hopefully it stays up, but I'm realistic enough to know it'll come down a little bit. But I like the pace we're playing. Um, I think we took three bad shots the other night, and they were all my fault because I left kids in there too long. They got a little tired. But now I know our trigger. I know when they get tired, we'll settle for a bad shot rather than attacking. All three of the what I'm calling bad shots were when we had forced a switch and we got a matchup that we wanted to drive it and we shot it. Or vice versa. We wanted to shoot it and we tried to drive it. So just poor decision, and that's fatigue, and that's, that's something I can help them control. Uh, have you seen a little inconsistency at times? I know, like looking last week at the numbers, you know, Golden only played 10 minutes on the road, three yeah. turnovers, came back with a nice, yeah. with a nice game on Sunday. Um, Baker, I saw her minutes were down. What do you feel like those two have to do a little bit better? Yeah, come in ready to play. You know, and, and I think that's what happens, and it's an adjustment period. You know, for a long time we were kind of platooning, and now we've kind of settled in on a little bit more of a rotation. And some kids are better at others than coming in cold, um, and, and they'll get better at it. I, I should have played IT more against Arizona State. You know, the one takeaway as a coach, I look back and say, you know, I'm, I'm talking about getting Lex three minutes of rest. That should have been IT. Talking about getting Jalen maybe two minutes of rest. That should have been IT. She bounced back really, really well. I didn't notice that as much in game as I probably should have. I wish I would have played her more, and I told her as much. Uh, it is a kid that um, can take that type of coaching and and use it and um, motivate herself. So we we I told her before the Arizona State game we can't win this game without you playing well, and she played well. So um, you know the minutes are going to fluctuate sometimes on a game by game basis, but I think when you look at a ten game span or the thirty games over the season, those things will balance out pretty. Pretty close. Whether you're picked at the bottom of the league or not, you're still getting two power five games this yep. week, and you don't, you know, have to go somewhere else. Here. I mean, yeah. So what, what's that like being able to get that experience this early <clears throat> in the year and, and not have to travel to their place, but but get them early? That's what these things are. That's that's where these things developed back in the day when coaches started looking around. They're like, hey, we can go to these neutral sites and play each other. It's a great RPI thing. You know, we're still using the RPI. I think the men are using something different this year, aren't they? some other number, some other acronym. But to be able to play, now we get those two conference RPIs the rest of the year when we start figuring it in. And, and to be able to do it against somebody that's you know not picked at the top half of their league, you still get the RPI with the win, and you get to play a, a, like, a like opponent. Hard to find that, really hard to find that in any tournament. Coach Schaefer did a good job of communicating with these guys exactly what we were looking for, and they put together a really good event. But it'll help us RPI-wise. I think it'll help us um, with some real real confidence. You know, you can pump kids full of fake confidence all you want, and then you go in and you get beat down 46 in Tempe, and you spend the next month trying to build them back up. That's kind of what happened last year. So I think to be able to go against somebody that's kind of in similar boats, all, all three of us have um, – similar paths right now and similar blueprints we're working on so to see each other face to face in neutral site um, you know I, when you start looking at the way the games go we have Tennessee State Pitt then Wisconsin everybody's got to play somebody at, at some point in time but uh, I think us being able to get down there and get Tennessee State first and then have to close with those two guys could really send us back home from the holidays with a lot of usable data Three-point defense, how, how critical is that going to be with as much as all, all four of you guys like to throw them up? Uh, we've got to get better at it. You know, our, our number, our ranking in our league is really low because er, there's a lot of good teams that are in our league that are good at it. I'm okay with the sheer number of it um, because that was the game plan against the particular teams we've played so far. Uh, if we'd have had a game plan of not to let them get them and they did anyway, I'd have been more concerned. But – 
we were more concerned with the inside attack uh, of the teams we've been playing. So to give that part of it up, I can't get too upset about it because that was what we were willing to give up. Um, but it'll improve, I think, as we start to, to, to get going through the season. And this, this week in particular, it's neutral site for all of us, so it's a unique gym shooting background. Um, I will always make sure, as long as it's part of the game plan, I'll be okay with that number. How about the, uh, the inside team, Williams and Thomas? I mean, is that a just a kind of a matchup type thing at times? One, one might play more yeah. than the other? And how they're playing. You know, that's what I've told them. I said, basically, um, you know, Kiera's starting. Taylor, you're coming in at the first media timeout or the first natural opportunity, uh, whether that's foul trouble or a dead ball. And then let's see how we play. The, the idea is that it's 20 and 20. But the other night, Kiera played really well. Uh, there's going to be a night when Taylor plays really well and it flips around. I, I would – I'd bet you guys a Pepsi at the end of the year those guys are within 25 or 30 minutes of each other, you know, barring injury or foul trouble. That's the plan that we look at those guys as they practice with the same units. Um, they've worked hard to, to develop that. But, yeah, it is sometimes matchups, but more, more than anything, it's how they're playing individually. Thanks for coming so on a holiday.